Hi, my name is Mohammed, and I'm an applications engineer at Maxim Integrated. I've been working on my homemade smartwatch project, and today I'll finally be able to test out my ultra-low power real-time clock. In my previous videos, I showed how to configure the real-time clock, or RTC, to keep track of time, and I also showed how to configure my Max32630 microcontroller for deep sleep. Today, I'll be putting those functions together to keep track of time while staying in deep sleep mode. While in the deep sleep LP0 mode, there are multiple ways of waking up my microcontroller. It can be configured to wake up once the real-time clock reaches a certain time value, which is useful if I want to update my watch display once per minute. Or it could be woken up from a GPIO input like a button press. So I can press a button, have my watch do some function, and then go back to sleep. Since I already showed a previous example of how to wake up from a GPIO input, I'll be demoing today how to wake up once the timer hits a certain value. For today's demo, I'll be using the Max32630 feather board, but with a few modifications. I disconnected the onboard Bluetooth module and the onboard inertial sensor, so I had the lowest power consumption and was just measuring the power management IC and the microcontroller itself. I'm expecting each to draw 1 to 2 microamps, so hopefully that's what I'll see when I power on my amp meter. I've configured the board to go immediately into deep sleep, wait 5 seconds, power up and flash an LED, and then go back into deep sleep mode. Before I show the actual demo, I have an important disclaimer. Always put in a safety measure to wake up your microcontroller from sleep. When I was working on some code for this video, I accidentally put one of my microcontrollers in deep sleep permanently. Granted, if you do that, there is a way to reset it, erase the flash memory, and reprogram it, but it can get complicated if you don't have the right tools. To save on future frustration, always put in a safety measure to wake up your microcontroller from deep sleep. The way I keep my microcontroller from automatically going to sleep is by placing a while loop that checks if the button is pressed. This means that if I hold the button down, once the, de the device wakes up, it will stay in LP3 run mode until I release the button. When I want to reprogram the device, I hold down this button, attach my programmer, and update the program memory. So here I have a power supply configured for 3.7 volts, which is a typical single cell rechargeable battery voltage, and I have a 6.5 digit precision ammeter. If I enable my power supply and press the reset button to enable my board, you'll see the flash and then the, the board will drop actually down to 5 microamps. And then when the LED flashes, you'll see the current spike back up to like 3 milliamps or so. But there you go. You can see every 5 seconds the board flashes, which means the RTC is working. There you have it. In under 5 minutes, I got the Max32630 to keep track of time while keeping the main CPU off and powering into a low power state. For more information about the Max32630 feather board and all of the example code available, check out the links below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.